Hi everyone. In the previous video, we have started the explanation of multiplexer and we have seen what is a 4 by 1 multiplexer as an example and we have seen the 2 by 1 multiplexer also along with the internal diagram and we have got the expression for the 2 by 1 multiplexer which is taken as something like I0 S bar enable plus I1 S enable. That means when enable is equal to 1 then only the multiplexer works and when enable is equal to 0 there is no relation between input and output irrespective of the state of the input output is equal to 0. Okay. Now let us write a data flow model as well as behavioral model for this multiplexer VHDL code. So first let us write a data flow model. So VHDL code for 2 by 1 multiplexer in data flow model. Data flow model is very easy and directly we are writing on the expression. In data flow model, directly we are writing the code on expression as we have got one expression and it is ready. Directly we can substitute the same expression in the architecture part. Okay. So, I told you already in the previous videos many times. VHDL program should start with two statements basically one is a library function and as well as the package function. So library library I triple E use the package I triple E dot std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all entity max underscore 2 by 1 is see here here you should be very cautious when you are taking the name of an entity most of you start with 2 by 1 max okay you should not start any name whether it is an architecture or entity you should not start any name with a number any name with a number in any program most of the programming languages will not support uh, the name with a number. So that's why first you have to write a character and then number. Okay, max 2 by 1. Port of so let us consider the input ports. Input ports for the multiplexer 2 by 1 is one is selection line, another one is the enable pin. Okay, I also considered, but I is having an array 0 1. So that we will consider in the next line. So these two are single. STD single bits STD underscore logic and I is an array consisting of two bits inside so it should be written STD underscore logic underscore vector array here it is shown as vector 1 down to 0 how many lines are there 2 2 lines I not I1 I not I1 so it is 1 down to 0 and output is Y y is output std underscore logic it is also a single bit close the bracket semicolon and end max 2 by 1 okay this is the entity part now coming to architecture architecture some data flow data flow of max 2 by 1 max what is the name you have taken max underscore 2 by 1 so max underscore 2 by 1 is is c we have to consider some intermediate signals here okay uh, i will tell you <coughs> see begin begin with here we are selecting here we are writing uh, one way is directly we can write on the expression another way is based on conditional statements here i am using conditional statements here the program is completely written on conditional basis conditional statements conditional statements 
here we have used for example with select with select so with select is a conditional statement because selection line is a condition for the selection of the output if s is equal to 0 then output is i0 if s is equal to 1 then output is i1 okay based on the selection line based on the selection line the output is determined okay that's why we have considered here conditional statement otherwise very simply you can write directly y is equal to what is there in the program what is there in that expression i is equal to i naught and s naught and something like that we can write but instead of that oh, a better way is to select a conditional statement okay uh, conditional statement with s select with s select <laughs> this is a conditional statement so whatever the selection si signal that should be shown here in the s yes place with s select so now we are taking some intermediate signal x is equal to x is equal to i naught i naught when i naught here it should be shown i of 0 when 0 when 0 next i 1 i of 1 when when 1 see the meaning of this line is we have taken an intermediate signal see signal x std underscore logic we have taken intermediate signal first that signal x gets the data based on the selection line if selection line is equal to 0 x is equal to i naught if selection line is equal to 1 x is equal to i1 that is fine but when x becomes y when x becomes y when enable pin is equal to 1 so y is equal to y is equal to x when enable is equal to 1 y is equal to x when enable is equal to 1 y is and else x is equal to uh, sorry y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 <coughs> see here first we have chosen based on the selection line we have assigned i1 i0 to x and the second part is depends on the enable pin depends on the enable pin y is assigned with x okay that means when enable is equal to 0 y is equal to any one of these two depends on the selection line okay this is a data flow model with the conditional statements end end data flow and data flow otherwise we can also write or we can also write simply in the architecture part begin begin y is equal to if you have any doubt you can directly write this expression okay as i said in the uh, first time in the data flow model directly we are writing on the expression enable and not s and i of 0 okay you can keep all these in brackets for better understanding see or or enable and yes and i of 1 this is directly we are writing on the expression and data flow okay so you can use the previous way or this one this is easy but we are writing directly on the expression but in the previous case we are saying what happens when s is equal to 0 and what happens when s equal to 1 this is the better way to understand a program or a logic function this is the best way to understand the logic function based on the conditional statements okay and let us see the same code in the behavioral model behavioral model for the same 2 by 1 multiplexer 
so entity is common entity we are not disturbing architecture architecture behavior of mux 2 by 1 is signal here also I am taking a signal std underscore logic begin begin process here in behavioral model the conditional statements should be incorporated inside the process process and instances yes enable which are changing which are changing should be kept inside the process okay so the uh, changing are s and enable so process s enable again process should be begin so begin here the conditional statement we have used case when case when so case yes is which is the selection line here yes so case yes is when when case uh, yes yes means here a single bit when s is equal to 0 implies x is assigned with i of 0 <laughs> see here we have used a conditional statement that is case and when the syntax is case some selection data is when this selection data is 0 suppose if it is a 2 bit data then it is 0 0 if it is a 3 bit data then it is triple data but we have to use double quotation then for more than one okay more than one you have to use double quotation for if it is a single bit then you can use a single data line uh, single quotations okay and the second one is when when others when others you can write it as when others are when one okay both are accepted when one if one doesn't work you can use others when one x is equal to x is equal to i of one i of one now see if if enable is equal to one enable is equal to one then assign y output is equal to x else else y is equal to simply 0 quotation y is equal to 0 now whatever we have opened everything should be closed and if and case case should be ended and process and behavioral model hope you understand the program see here in the architecture part we have taken the process and process of instances which are changing begin case select here the conditional statement is case select I'll write in the red color so previously we have considered with select with select this is conditional statement conditional statements conditional statement in behavioral model conditional statement in behavioral model this one is conditional statement in data flow model understand the difference conditional statement in data flow model and this is conditional statement case when is conditional statement in behavioral model so case yes is when x is equal to have uh, i of 0 when s is equal to 0 and x is equal to i of 1 when s is equal to 1 once the x is ready now we are going for the checking of enable pin if enable pin is equal to 1 then y is assigned with x otherwise it is 0 and whatever we have opened everything should be closed okay thank you